different expeditions. They normally, uh, it's normally either hot cheek drunk or doing something daft or the, the two of them put together. <laughs> There's a few of them that I'll, I'll always think of when Hotchie's. Uh, when I think of Hotchie, I'll always think of something where he's drunk, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the number one one, really, was uh, TT week when we were about 21. And uh, we'd been out on a bit of an afternoon then. Uh, and we, were, uh, we were walking through Strand Street. <laughs> And it was a chock a block through Strand Street. We were pretty drunk, pretty much how I am now, actually. <laughs> and then uh, we were walking up towards Casey's, and Hotchie spotted a uh, sandwich board. <laughs> and so it's from about here to where the wall is. And Hotchie decided it would be a great idea. <laughs> to get a sprint on and do his Colin Jackson impression. So <laughs> he ran. Just bearing in mind the street's full of Germans. <laughs> and he ran. I went for the sandwich board and decided he was going to leg at it and hurdle it. Legged at it. Didn't hurdle it. Flattered it. Ended up on a pile. <laughs> in a pile. <laughs> in the street, in front of all these Germans. I didn't laugh, it wasn't funny at all. Um, <laughs> there was another time when we... Uh, I wasn't actually there for this one, this is one I've been told about. It was in the Craig, uh, where Kinney and me used to work. And Kinney was behind the bar. Hotchy, Hot, Jane, the usual crew, came in, hammered. And uh, Hutchie was hungry after a few beers, so he, he got some cheese in. I like Hutchie to have cheese. But this cheese was quite special and it had a five pence piece in it. So each block of cheese had a five pence piece in it. So Hutchie was like munching away on the cheese. Oh, found it, five pence piece. Put it down, had a pint, and some more cheese. He didn't say for the necklace, he swore a bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Another fight, it's peace blue! Carried on. No way! A third fight for space. Come along about 55 pence later. Oh, she's like a. Oh. Hot had been pushing 5p into the block of cheese. <laughs> Every time Hotchie been swigging a drink of beer. <laughs> I made a fork. Right, there's so much material here. <laughs> I think you ah, know. right, whatever. <laughs> this is another one I wasn't party to. He, the, the, I think it's when the World Cup was on. Can I have yeah. a... Can Brazil, I have a, England, 7 o'clock kick kick off. <laughs> yeah. So it was early doors and Hotchi and Harry had been out and uh, had quite a few beers. And it had come the time of day where it was time to say... So Hotchi, staggering over to Kinney's workmate, went to say goodbye to her, fell on it, but what Hotchi didn't know was she got quite a dodgy hit and she'd been in the hospital for it. Oh. And he fell on her and she dislocated her hip. <laughs> 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 However, not happy, not happy in hospitalising one girl. Hachi <laughs> was walking back, waving goodbye to everyone, fell over. But Howie was in front of him, and Howie was doing the same thing with his arm in a sling. Hotchie was on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Howie fell over, <laughs> and Hotchie managed to manage to uh, hospitalise Howie as well, <laughs> and get his workmate within the space of about two minutes. <laughs> uh, there was another good one. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> 
when Hachi was living with uh, with Haz and Danny and Harry and uh, who else was it in Peel? In Peel Is that it? Um, Hachi and Paz decided to go on a last minute holiday and uh, they didn't walk anywhere, they just went straight to the airport in Manchester or wherever it was. And decided to go to the, uh, to the counter and just say, right, take us on holiday. But prior to this, Hutchie had dyed his hair, his hair peroxide blonde. And they ended up, the travel agent said, go to Amsterdam. Amsterdam, couple of lads, you know. Jane, close your ears, sorry. <laughs> he didn't, by the way. <laughs> so, um, so they went to Amsterdam, and um, Hutchie had his peroxide blonde hair, but he didn't know that it was uh, the Gay Olympics. <laughs> so Hutchie spent the whole holiday trying to avoid TV cameras. <laughs> Being gay and blonde and uh, actually traveling with his friend Steve. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a photo in here of you, Hachi, when uh, you remember in uh, in Australia when you dyed your hair blonde again. You never learned, did you? <laughs> he dyed his hair blonde, and um, Geraldine and me persuaded him that you can't dye your hair blonde. You've got to do your eyebrows as well. <laughs> 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 but, when you do, when you actually put it on, it, it's like black, isn't it? Like, Remember, it's black. Oh, yeah. and he, he looks like he's got like um, Dennis the Menace eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, there it is. <laughs> Dennis Healy. Film <laughs> <laughs> yeah. out. What was it? Oh, the full moon party. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this your travelling day? <laughs> so it was Hachi and me and Geraldine and we all went travelling together and um, so we went, we started off in Thailand and um, we went down through South East Asia, blah blah, blah Asia and all that and, uh, but when we went to Thailand we said right we're going to go to uh, the full moon party so we went to the full moon party, had a massive night out and then I uh, woke up in the morning and Geraldine and me are like, Where's Hachi? Hachi hadn't turned up. Parallel universe. Who's in the parallel universe? <laughs> So um, Hachi and me, uh, Geraldine and me went down in the morning to try and find Hachi. We're like, it's not turned up. What must have happened to him? We went down in the morning and Hachi had been asleep on the beach oh, the whole night and he'd been absolutely bloody barbecued until about 10 in the morning and these people had decided to pick him up off the beach and just drag him into a cafe because he was going to end up like a bloody lobster. Well, <laughs> so that bit wasn't quite funny, but never mind. <laughs> right, uh, what else have we got? <laughs> Andorra. Oh. Our very first snowboard holiday. We decided we were going to be snowboard legends. We went for one ski lesson, got hammered, and then got hammered, and then got hammered, and <laughs> never, we never ended up being snowboard legends. But what happened was, one night, <laughs> one night we went out and got drunk. Oh, that's right. made, Hachi made a, a cheese butty at night. <laughs> So we'd be, you know, got lash, came back, Hachi made a cheese butty, we all went to bed and fell asleep. Scoey, what is normal for Scoey, got up in the middle of the night, uh -huh. drunk, couldn't find his way, tried to find his way to the toilet, Ruby. didn't find the toilet, but found Hachi's cheese butty, oh, no. had a Jimmy Riddle oh, no. on Hachi's cheese butty. Oh, no. <laughs> Hachi got up in the morning, 
picked up the cheese butty. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Someone P I S S. Oh no, a cheese butty. <laughs> He licked it. Yeah. 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 Tastes like scary. <laughs> uh, right, what else have we got? Uh, oh yeah. This is a young fella. I would kind of rehearse this little bit a bit, Hotchi. Apparently, Hotchi has always been very protective of the girls in his life that he knows, even when it comes down to his colleagues. So he was working in Gut. You don't know what I'm talking about now. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so, the girl he was working with, the Garfield and Bland, was getting quite a lot of hassle on her boyfriend. He was a bit of a knob, to be honest. Like Mark Garrett, a little Garrett. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Hachi was, you know, very protective, and he found out what, you know, he, this girl was saying what was going on, and you know, he was, this fellow was being really cruel to his girlfriend. So Hachi decided, in his wisdom, that he was going to have a word with Mark Garrett. Mark, bearing in mind, Mark Garrett's about that big. <laughs> <laughs> now and then. Uh, and, um, but what Hachi decided to do was have a word with Mark Garrett in his lunch hour. <laughs> so, Prospect Hill, 12 o'clock, possibly the busiest place in the Isle of Man at that point in time. Hotchie decided, Hotchie being how tall he is, Mark Garrett being this big, decided to go and pick on, you know, have a word with this fella, you know, stop, you know, treating <laughs> your girlfriend like a bloody blah, blah, blah. Pint size Mark Garrett threw Hotchie in the road. <laughs> 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 I feel like the real universe talk. <laughs> Was that? He well, that's what I thought happened. I wasn't quite he sure. He threw Mark Garrett in front of a car. He punched me in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> so I kicked him off the roof and then he got my nose. He did make my nose. I think I've kind of came to an end here, so uh, regardless of Hachi um, going to the corner shop on a Sunday morning in his dressing gown and his slippers, or whether he's um, <laughs> getting dressed for work on a Saturday night when he's come home, absolutely hammered. <laughs> uh, Hachi, uh, Scoey and me both think he's a very generous and a kind person. Come on, Cap, scary. Come on. This is where we bat off each other. Oh, we bat off. Oh, okay, easy. I don't know what to say, but trying to get this. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got those question marks. Hang on. I'll let you tell this one, the one that Harry told us yesterday. I can't remember. We've seen anyone to Princeton yesterday. All right, I'll tell this one. This is a really good one. Scary, scary. Let me tell this one. This is a really good one. Let me tell it. Let me tell it. Alright, Hachi, you'll, you'll remember this because it's about you. <laughs> right. um, there was a time when Hachi and Harry lived in a flat in Douglas. When you're about, when you're about 21. <laughs> and um, they had to pay for electricity with a card. And they were pretty skint at the time. In fact, they were very skint at the time. And it was a choice between getting electricity or buying a crate of beer. So they bought a crate of beer and played Monopoly by candlelight. <laughs> How are you like? <laughs> Traps and friends. <laughs> uh, right, I think that's it.